door makes way into a large kitchen area. There are tables and chairs dotted around, barrels, crates, and shelving units above the various tables. There is a fireplace here, which is currently burning away, but the wood is getting low. I ignore all of it. He heads towards the back and then up the stairs, uh, looking for some stairs. As you come around the corner, you see a collection of bookshelves on your right, with a small table with one open on it. Another handful of crates dotted around and a door against the wall over here, which is slightly ajar. A uh, staircase is on your right. I give a passing glance to the book that's open. Is that wrong here? Perception? I should give it a quick glance. Perception. Fifteen. Okay, okay. As you give it a quick glance over, you haven't got a single idea what it says. You see a picture of what seems to be a dog, but other than that, you haven't got a clue on any of it. It's not uh, not a language I recognize. Nope. Yeah, thought so. I continue up the stairs. You make your way up the stairs into a large corridor, and on your right, you see sat on a table is the fellow from earlier. There you are. Ah, good evening. So, have you been thinking about my offer? Well, <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like that smug, first of all. it's If it's an offer, that means we can refuse, right? Of course you can refuse. What happens if we refuse? Will you just bring us back and look for some other, I don't know, hires like anybody else does? No. Most job offers. I'm not going back there for some time now. Hopefully never. Oh, of course, if you do assist me, I will take you back upon completion. Well, so you're just stuck with us for the rest of eternity? I mean, you'll eventually die one way or the other. Right. For an old age, if nothing else, so I've run out of food. That is, um, true. that is true. You don't have to worry about that being dead and all. No, I do not. I've been doing this for several centuries now. But that might be that it you know, gives us the possibility of haunting you. And um, then you're really stuck with us forever. Not really, that's not quite how that works. You see, I was bound here as part of a contract. The contract ended and I wasn't unbound, so I'm seeking to break the contract myself. Simply. If the contract ended, then it's done. Well, you would think so, but alas, I'm still here. So because you made us some deal with the devil and got uh, the short end of the stick, you now are forcing us to also have the same end? Well, I wouldn't call it a devil. The Fae don't tend to like to be referred to like that. More a deal with a malevolent being and the promise of power. And, you know, I kept some my end of the bargain, mostly. For a while. But, uh, when it came to my end, uh, I didn't do a good enough job, so they kept a hold of my soul in a trinket. And... They kept it in a vault. They eventually got bored of me. They sold me off as part of another deal. So I was meant to be with the shop for a period of time. And then my soul would be released. Uh, the person I was released to died, and then several years later, when the contract has expired, I remained here. So, I have since been traveling and attempting to break this seal. So now you're trying to, I don't know, try and get your soul back? Um, or release it back into the natural cycle, so I can be reborn again. Yeah, what if we just, like, threw it out the window or through the door? Well, if it was that easy, do you not think I would have done that already? But where is your soul right now? I mean, you're looking at it. Then just pass on, move on. Oh yes, of course. How silly of me. Oh, I feel myself fading. Oh, it's working! Bring us back first, bring us back Oh no! 
Ah. Oh, oh. He, he disappears. Fuck, we're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. If it was uh, that easy, I would have done it years ago. I think I just peed a Brandon. I think I just peed a little. He walks and through you. I back think to the chair he was at. <laughs> you feel like chill <laughs> as he passes. Hey, 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 hey! Could you please not do that? Impossible. Okay, so we have to get a dream catcher for you from somewhere, then we're off. Oh, no, 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 no. I currently need four items of imports. The items vary based on where we land and what I'm able to find throughout the multiverse. Multiverse? Hey, sir. Oh, Can we right, make a contract with you, then? Oh, but of course. Let's say we were... Getting uh, employed by you. Are you able to bring us back? At the oh. same time we left. Oh no, god no. Can you I can us... move through space, but I can't move through time. Can you bring That's us just back? stupid. Well, I mean, space is linked to time. So I, I feel like I just you... move through time. I just go back to the point of where this bloody contract was made. So I can immediately make sure it'd be unmade. Yeah, but that's uh, makes hey, a paradox, so that's not possible. Hey, I'm um, sorry, I just raised up my hand. I have a question. So, like, does time pass the same as it does in our world? Is like one second? I mean, different uh, worlds have different cycles for the years and seasons, but a minute is a minute. Okay. And a dark is a dark. So you can right. travel I see. I see. through multiverses. Why yes. not go to a universe where you didn't write a contract and if you're like, oh no, you can't leave the house, okay, never. Uh, yeah, yeah, the multi- Well, but there should be a you somewhere around the- that can help you, right? Yeah. Oh, I've never thought about that one before. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry. Hey, if but TFS you're is not, you're taught not me that anything. cooperative? I have been stuck here for 337 years. 337. That's just whilst I've been traveling around and picking up people. I did give myself a century after things didn't work, just in case, you know, a bit of time in loop. But you know, so you want to be technical. 437 years that's since the contract is meant to have ended, plus the 100 years I served, plus my life before that, and then the time in between you know, independence. Hey, you're um... probably looking average around about it's been a, about a, se a millennium since I died in your time. You're um, yes, uh, yes I am. Oh, if you can't tell by the ears, I was a half-elf, so you know, long life is nothing new. That what? doesn't mean anything to me. You were yeah, yeah, I can, I, yeah, I can confirm, I can confirm that's definitely a thing. Yeah, he looks like one of those. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Imagine, imagine not I, even being a full-elf. <laughs> What's that mean to say? Yeah, he raises uh, his eyebrow a little bit, and you see one of the flames in his eyes burns a little bit brighter. Hey, Give hey, me a wisdom save. Oh, but shit. Uh, hmm. Okay, but move. Five. Uh, five. You suddenly start to feel really small as you look at that flame, like a child being told off by an adult. I move behind Martinez. Um, could you not bully children? I, I didn't bully a child. No, the other way around. You're the child now. I'm feeling bullied in I mean, it's like an expression, like half a man. It means, oh, you're not completely... I mean, I, I, I'm not shot. And what about your bloodline? Um, oh, I mean... You don't huh. seem to be quite full human to me. Oh, no, no, we're, we're, all, we're all humans here. Like, God, um, if you were from where we're from, you couldn't even begin to imagine how 
how problematic that statement is. Anyway, I'm not trying to offend you, so do you mind if I just change the subject to something completely different? So, you say that you're a couple of thousand years old, right? And you've got four items to find, so how many have you got? How many collected so far? Eh, a good handful. Uh, mind putting a number to that? Just... Because, I mean, like, look, like, 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 let's be honest uh, here. It's when, trivial when... details you don't need to know. Well, I mean, it's just kind of more how realistically we're going to be able to get this, uh, this stuff here. I mean, I suppose you don't care or not if we get them, but, you know, I, I'm a guy who just likes structure and, you know, you want to get the best out of, out of your employees, so to speak. Well, and... you need to know that it should only be four more items that I need. Yeah, but if it already took you a millennium to, uh, let's say, gather two items... No, it was 337 years. It's 300, 400 years. Let's say it took uh, 200 years to get an item. That means we're stuck here for maybe 800 years to come. Yeah. Oh, we're, not if you're good at your job. We're gonna... Die. Some of the people I've implied have been pretty terrible. Actually, I have a I have a legitimate question. So you know that we're humans, right? You know roughly what our lifespan is. Yeah, I do, yeah. It says so, to about, what, 50? Um, How much? Okay, okay, maybe back in the, in the 19th. I, I don't know what it. Anyway, uh, by the by, but you, you just said that you're a half-elf, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's actually true or not, but you guys live for, what, a few hundred years, naturally, or something? Yeah, thereabouts, yeah. So why, so why didn't you get someone? Not that I'm trying to offend your choice and employee, but why not get people who will just well live longer rather than needing to recycle people and do all this spiel over and over again? I suppose you know, like I you guess know. what I can get. Yeah, if we look at this recruitment strategy, I think it's it can it's in dire need of improvement. Yeah, 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 I, I, and David, David knows what he's talking about. He, like, he works several jobs. I mean, I, I don't really know, you know, what other jobs you do, David. But you know, you, you know your stuff. And if David says that your business strategy is in need of fixing, that David is only saying it because David is able to help you fix it, David. I can. Yes. Or a well, with all things are simply a matter of time, and I have time. Yeah, we do not. Exactly. So, the sooner you start, the sooner we can look to get you home. Okay, well, you know, I would say that considering the circumstances and the circumstances, how about you tell us what what items do you even want? Can you, I don't know, describe Oh, it's or... items of very particular magical frequency normally. So it's always going to be very specific things, so I've got to try to look for something that currently exists somewhere with that resonance to it for you to obtain. It needs to be that specific one, though. It can't be just be any other multiple. I, could, I have a trinket I could give you which will help you to identify, which is the correct one, quite easily. That could be useful, um, but that means you do not know beforehand what it is you are looking for. And I only know what it is once I arrive and can stipulate exactly what it is. It's gonna be a long day. I, I, I see. Hey guys, I'm not wanting to jump the gun here or anything, but I think we are well and true here and we're probably the best chance of survival at least for now is to do what the scary ghost man says it's not without some benefits good char get magic powers i just want to get home hey well um i don't know what... he waves his hand and a large book appears beside him floating in the air this tome, if you sign on it, will bind you fully into contract with me. In exchange, you'll be able to unlock some of your latent magical power. 
Everyone of every race has some kind of late sensibility. And I can see in each of you something glimmering there. Be it blood of others lying just beneath the surface, waiting to pull out what, our magical mean, potential. What, you mean like Viking Cottage? Because I know that, that they kind of just mix everything together. I know I'm a bit of Viking, a bit of Irish, yeah, a bit of Scottish. Yeah, sure, like Viking Cottage, yes. I mean, I have Spanish influences. My, my grandmother always talks about Qigong being the, you know, inside you, but... Is that what you're talking about? It all plays on those same ideas, effectively. This tone will just help to draw it out to make it a bit more dominant. What was your name again? My apologies. I, um, I love her. Evelyn and Deflun. Isn't Devlin? Um. You're driving a hard bargain. Yeah, you know that. As it doesn't really seem like we have a lot of choice. But I want to make a bit more formal contract. Um, you so, want to uh, make a more formal contract than a magically binding one? I mean, in our world, we also make contracts that are not magically bound. But we do have... So you make uh, contracts that can be easily broken. Yes, but that's why we have people who enforce those things. That's why we have a whole court system. But, but completely, it uh, doesn't even help because he has completed his contract and is still stuck. I saw this TV program once. Guy signing contract and they cut out his tongue. Like that. What? The tongue didn't die. Wait. What? Is it like that? Uh, I hope not. No. I mean, it does take a little bit of blood to seal this contract, but it's only a pinprick. Oh, um. And uh, our hey. soul. Yeah, this sounds like. Yeah, how much nonsense this There are there are still some um, uncertainties. Can we read the contract? He waves his hand and the book opens. It flicks through page after page after page after page after page. Not that quick. I will start from the beginning. <clears throat> and settles on one of the pages. On it there is a circle that is completely empty and below it. The words I swear that I will, to the best of my ability, obtain the items required. In exchange, I will be given power. Upon completion and separation of the soul from the shop, I will be returned from whence I came. Yeah, I have a small problem with this line here, uh, and separation from the shop. And I care about retrieving the items. I do not have uh, any say in if it will work or not. So even if it's if you're still stuck here, I want to be returned. No. Should it fail, then? Then we're all stuck here. We try again. He pulls from his sleeve a small knife. Oh, we're getting stabbed. He's gonna kill us. Um, no, no, I, I, I don't. He think places it on the this. table. Oh, we have to stab each other. Is, is, is this like one of those horror movies where? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not like this. Uh, no. Japanese movies. No. I mean, those are really good though. Wait, wait, wait. What, what Japanese movies are you guys watching? I've just. No, back in the day when the samurai was those... a honorable death. Disembowel himself. Well, like your hands. Or like or slice. I'll cut them off for all I like care. Then place your hand or stump onto the circle here. It'll bind the contract. 
who's first? Can I check to see if there are any small letters written there? Go ahead. What do I roll? Roll perception. Nope. You see nada. I don't like this contract. And I hate that I'm being forced to sign it. I think we have another choice, David. Hey, um, uh, hey. You guys are like turtle wimps. I'll go up to the thing, pick my middle finger, show it to the guy, and put it in the contract. As you do, you feel a pulling motion on your finger as blood begins to pull, be pulled out from your fingertip and creates an elaborate pattern around and inside the circle. It glows briefly. And then you pull your hand away where the cut was has disappeared. He motions with his hand and the page turns. Next, please. Chance we're still you guys aren't gonna like let a girl show you up, are you? Oh, I'm not gonna let the girl show me up, okay, sure. And I prick my finger. I am. I'm already made. Same happens again. The pattern slightly different each time for each person that does this. We don't have yeah. a choice. Can we recall the pattern? I'm going to say no. As you try to think over it, your mind begins to fuzz over. I don't we think we have a choice, Brandon and David. Like... Hey, uh, yeah, hey, David, I, I appreciate everything you've tried to do it to get us a bad deal. I, I'm, I'm not really big into business, but it's kind of clear that we have no power level scenario. We're not even in the same world, I don't reckon, even if we could find a legal loophole in it that to, that Brandon's got to step forward. Do the same again. The blood draws out from where you prick yourself, creating a pattern. And then as you step back, the wound seals and the page turns. And the flames for eyes rest on David. I'm gonna put my finger, middle finger up, show it to him, grab the knife, stab oh. it, put it in there, show it back to him. Copycat. He nods slowly. Thank you for respecting me. I'm not respecting you. Oh, does that gesture mean something different? It means fuck you. No. I'm quite flattered, but no. I rather not. That's not what I meant. Uh, he, you feel the blood get drawn uh, out again, creating a pattern. Once it's done, this sign the book closes. Okay. And disappears. Excellent. <laughs> Devlin stands. He looks over each of you. So now I what? Think it's about time you had a rest. He flicks his hand, and you all feel a drowsiness settle over you. I, I, I'm not tired. Okay, I'm tired. Oh, okay, I'm guessing. Water. How are we gonna get. If it just falls on the floor sleeping. We're getting drugged, even though we're already kidnapped. I. Yeah, nothing about this situation. You don't want to be awake for the next bit, trust me. Your eyes open wide in fear as he slowly stumbles down. Wait, what? What? And with that, everybody roll me a d12. Now, are there any duplicates? We are going to uh, re roll. I got a nine. Brandon, see what you. What plus were you not going to have? Ranger. Six. 
Okay, Brandon. You will get to be a sorcerer. Eleven. I feel I... my stomach turning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Ara, what class did you not want to play? Barbarian. Okay. Uh, was it a six? Sorry. Yeah. It was. Kara, you get to be a paladin. Okay. Which actually That's... also do have an option for healing with her as well. That was kind of lucky. <laughs> <laughs> David, 11. What yes. class did you not want to play? Artificer. You are a warlock. And Jun, what class did you not want to play? Wizard. And you are a cleric. So, and with that, I think that would be a good point for us to end off the session. Okay then, well, um, anyone who has turned up today, I want to thank you for joining us and hope you are enjoying the campaign so far. But until next time, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from everyone else. Bye. See ya.